Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Thursday afternoon. Though Shenandoah's water supplies are in good shape, the city's water conservation measures are still in effect. Last month, as you'll recall, Mayor Roger McQueen declared Stage 1 of the city's water conservation ordinance in response to continuing drought conditions in the area. Under Stage 1, residents are asked to voluntarily conserve water at their homes and businesses in every way possible. This includes avoiding watering lawns, gardens, shrubs, or trees with a hose unless it needs water to avoid damage. Residents are also asked to only water every other day and for no more than four hours per day. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program earlier this week, McQueen says those measures are still in place. You know, we're not putting any restrictions or anything on it. We're just asking for people to volunteer to watch what they use water-wise, you know. Um, uh, we haven't instance instituted any kind of uh, regulations or, or ordinances or anything on it. Uh, stage one is just asking for cooperation and watching uh, how much water you use. McQueen commends local residents for observing conservation measures, saying it's helping water supplies hold their own. Page County authorities are seeking the public's help in an ongoing theft investigation. The Page County Sheriff's Office says they are currently investigating a break-in and theft occurring late Thursday night into Friday morning last week northeast of College Springs in rural Page County. Authorities say items taken include a gray 2022 Ford 550 pickup with a service box equipped with a small crane, plus a bobcat welder, gas torch set, and numerous tools. The sheriff's office says the vehicle was parked inside the victim's shop, from which other tools were taken before the culprit left with the vehicle and its content. Reward money is being offered. Architects are projecting a late fall bid lending for at least one major construction project in the Clarenda School District. Officials with SiteLogic, the district's construction consultants, updated the Clarenda School Board late Wednesday afternoon on the design schedule, alternative strategies, the construction schedule, and staging and preliminary draws for a $9.8 million project covered by the district's Secure and Advanced Vision for Education or Save Dollars. KMA, on-track weather forecast, sunny this afternoon with a high near 80. Tonight, mostly clear, low in the mid-50s. Tomorrow, partly sunny, chance of showers and thunderstorms, high near 80. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have yourself a good rest of your Thursday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.